It's National Tomato Month, and on the phone lines with us right now from Herzl Canning Company, the folks that put out all the delicious Day for Telly products, we have Anita Laginus from the Sales and Marketing Department. Happy Tomato Month. Well, happy Tomato Month to you, too. I feel so tomato-y today. <laughs> a little red around the gills. <laughs> uh, you guys sent a care package of a whole bunch of your different uh, products a couple months ago, and we uh, just just went nuts over it. Uh, I'm especially fond of the black bean and corn salsa. Oh, was, that is one of my favorites. Oh my too. god, it was killer! And my wife took the pasta sauce, and she is making some awesome chicken cacciatore with it. So Ooh. we've been uh, buying your products uh, almost exclusively ever since we tried it. Now, you folks are right here in Ohio, right? Right in Toledo? We are. We are uh, based up here in Toledo, Ohio, although we do have two other plants, one in Pemberville and one in Ottawa. So you're getting all your tomatoes locally? Everything is grown local, southern Michigan and northwest Ohio. So that way, when we uh, harvest, it allows us to have them to one of our plants within an 8- to 10-hour window. We immediately start processing them so they're they're in a can right away. So that's why when you open up our can of tomatoes, it looks like you've just picked them out of the field. They're processed immediately to keep all those great uh, flavors and juices in there. Anita Laginus with Sales and Marketing at Herzl Canning Company, who distribute the Day for Telly brand. And you folks have put a little contest to celebrate National Tomato Month out right now. It's our ripened recipe contest. And hopefully some of your listeners this morning will want to submit a recipe. Uh, they can go on to our webpage which is dayfortelly.com. Now, you might want to spell Day for Telly because it's not exactly how you'd think. That is true. It's D-E-I-F-R-A-T-E-L-L-I. You can also go onto our Facebook page or check us out on Twitter. Now, you're doing three different categories of recipes. We've got the general category, which is your traditional favorites, you know, your, your stews and your pastas and your crock pot cooking and, and that type of thing. Um, but we also actually do have a specific crock pot uh, category this year. And then we kind of like to do like a specialty, which, um, you know, there's so many folks out there that follow specific diets and have some nutritional needs and things like that with low sodium, gluten-free, kosher. So we kind of thought, you know, that would be a good idea when so many people are looking for these recipes these days. So we've got those three categories that folks can enter their recipes. We choose actually 10 winners. It's not just one. And those 10 winners get our wonderful products. We send out a great gift box of eight different products each month for the entire year. Wow. And if it's, anything, if it's anything like that assortment that I got, then it's going to be an awesome prize. It is a lot of fun to see what uh, you get each month. Open up your box and know you've got you know, all kinds of great ingredients in there to start creating new recipes for next year. Anita Lajanis with Dave Fratelli getting ready for the ripened recipe contest you have through the end of the month, Dander, right? October 31st is the last day uh, to submit your recipes. Then we need a couple, three weeks to make all those wonderful recipes right here at our facility. And uh, I, I'm one of the great tasters. I'll bet you are. How do you get that job? I don't know. I think I had to petition because there's a big, long line of folks that uh, are out there wanting to <laughs> taste all these great recipes. If ever you need a celebrity taster, just remember good old Randy and Sadusky. I'll have to do that. I've been told that you are allowed to give us like a tomato recipe, like perhaps one of the previous winners or something. Oh, gosh, yeah. We've got so many wonderful recipes on our uh, website. Uh, I think this one is kind of fun, and it's really easy. It's a tomato basil bisque. Mm. And it uses our Day for Telly 28-ounce can of whole tomatoes, uh, two cloves of minced garlic, a large bunch of basil, about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Of course, that's uh, if you like it a little spicier, a little less spicy. A quarter cup of olive oil, a cup and a half of milk, and some salt and pepper to taste. Put all the ingredients together and then drizzle the olive oil on top and then sprinkle the salt and pepper. And then you actually, the tomatoes, you put them in the oven and roast them first. Mm. And then once those are roasted, put them in the blender and then heat the milk in a, in a saucepan on very low so you don't scorch the milk and mix them together 
and then use a little bit of the basil as garnish. And it's a wonderful, quick little recipe for these cold, cool mornings and, and after work and that for dinner. We'll put a copy of the tomato bisque recipe on the morning mix page at mix1027.com. So our listeners that maybe didn't have a pen and paper ready while you were given that delicious recipe can check it out for themselves. And we'll link it to your website as well so you can uh, check out all the different recipes and all the different products offered by Dave Fratelli. Once again, it's D-E-I-F-R-A-T-E-L-L-I dot com. You're also on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest. You're all over the place. You can always find Dave Fratelli somewhere. In all the local stores, I take it. The Myers, the Giant Eagles, the Kroger's, the Walmart, the community markets have our products. So ditch the national products that might rhyme with, like, taboo. Ditch that and go with something that's locally produced from right in the Toledo area, Dave Fratelli. Oh, definitely. You can't get any fresher or any better tasting tomatoes than ours. Anita, I'm going to try some of those recipes. Very good. You'll have to let me know how they go. And I might have my wife uh, submit that chicken cacciatore because I think we might have some. I think that's a great idea.